Okay, guys, I am back um, to finish up the recipe pages. Well, we'll try and finish them up tonight. We'll see. It is getting a little bit later. So we'll see how much. Uh... How much energy I have in myself this evening. Positioning on that isn't perfect. But it's on there. <laughs> right? It's over here. I don't really have <laughs> anything else to talk about as far as exciting stuff, although my dog's getting out isn't exciting in a good way. It's just exciting. But that's not best way. Back in the office tomorrow. Got some paperwork to do, but it's mainly just an open Uh, open registration day, which just means I'm in the office to answer the phone, do registrations for appointments or walk-ins, and yeah. So it's one of my, what I like to call my short day. It is technically not short per se. It's a normal length of day because it's a eight hour day but I'm used to my 12s so I say it's a shorter day for me Uh-oh. Hmm. Guess I might be short a couple of dishes. And that doesn't necessarily make me happy. Let's count these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope, I just have an extra no, oh. <laughs> one of my dishes got over there. So it was even. Get that a fold. I have a couple of extras. I 
I usually do, if possible, like to cut a couple extra. Because if you make a mistake, you can always have extras on hand, especially um, things that I cut. Because then a lot of times when I do cut things, I don't save the cut files if I've modified them. I really should, but that would be a lot of files that I modify, just mostly size-wise. Oh, so that is the constant struggle. Some of the cuts, because they're so tiny uh, on the silhouette, you have to go well, you have to go through and kind of clean them a little bit, but especially with these words, I definitely spent a lot of time cleaning up the words. There we go. One more, and then I have to glue them all on to... backings. So many steps. I'll do this one a little backwards because I already had it on the tweezers. There we go. Whoopsies. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's get the lid on that. Okay. Let me get these another little clean. They are definitely covered in multimedia mat. Okay, right. glued. I do need to place an order for some more of this multimedia mat. And like I've said before, I need to order some more uh, art glitter glue. But I'll do that maybe tomorrow. Hopefully this, these won't take quite as long to glue them all down. I just think they're so cute. I'm so happy the way they turned out.
So this is a spot you can actually <laughs> fast forward through because I really don't have a lot going on. Yes. So much to talk about. I was looking for... A little thing to set this on as I'm gluing. I had a little roll of washi out, and I don't know where I currently put it. Things have kind of moved on me. I'm not saying they just got up, grew legs, and walked away. I'm just saying that I moved it and set it someplace, and I don't recall where I put it. Maybe I actually put it away. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny thought. Maybe if I set a few of these out, it'll maybe speed up some. Who knows if that's going to end up being more or less time consuming. Certainly see, right? I do like these assembly line projects, the mass producing aspect to them. Sometimes it's just easier. Make one design and you copy it 11 times, or however many times you need to copy it. I like the design part of it, I really do, but something like this makes it kind of nice that you just prep everything and then you just go. Should be all the soups. And apparently, I can't count. So, nine, ten, eleven. There we go.
this and I just got really tired. <laughs> I don't know how far I'll get tonight on these. I was really hoping that I would keep up the energy to finish these and at least get all these pieces done. And then after this, do I have, I have, sorry, um, gotta look at my plan of action. I've got the final assembly. So I think one more video and we'll be done after that. And then I'll do the, the final walkthrough. I know it doesn't matter which way I put these on because I can always turn it over so it's right side up, but for some reason my head was like, you need to flip that over. It needs to be right side up when you put it on, but it really doesn't. Prove to myself that I can put it on. Right side up. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> well, I did drop my little plug, but that's not necessarily bad. That's just kind of inconvenient, right? Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, Valentine's Day is coming up. I did not realize how quickly it is coming up. Okay, so three, five, six, seven. I think it might be. piece came loose. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think it got mixed up in there. Let me just We'll just make this one up, right? Got little tweezers. See, and this is why I make extras because I want to make sure that if I had a lapse in counting. I am able to have the pieces standing by. And voila, that's 11. So I don't, I didn't count this one, but I think it was one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, so three. Nine and ten. 
11 because 11 is right there. I'm counting them in my head. I'm like, okay, so two, three, technically four, because this one. I don't know. Do you guys do that? Even though when everything is all set out, you kind of like one. You count real slow. You count at the, speed, uh, at the speed that you're completing them. That. I know I do a lot in my head. Especially on this kind of stuff. Let's see. I did join a swap this month going to be uh, making an easel box. I can't, I don't remember the name of the, the, the tutorial right off the top of my head, but uh, it's very cute. And so I'm going to have to get started on that. I really want new, um, I don't know what kind of paper right now, but I really do want some new Valentine's Day paper. Not that I necessarily need it, but I really want it because I like it. And yeah. And there's some really cute, authentic uh, Easter paper that I've been drooling over. It's very vintage and very adorable. So I might, that might have to be mine. All right, there is this. So these are all done. And so now what I still need to do is for these, I need to put them together. I need to assemble. These. So I'm going to actually use my ATG gun. Faster when I do it. Oh, geez. When I do it that way. sleeping right now. Bobby's going to be getting up in a few hours to get ready to go to work. The dad, the dog, the dance, the dogs are sleeping. So, although it is almost midnight, so little Miss Truly 
probably be waking up in a little bit for me to take her out potty. So, I'll get as much of this done as I can. And I did try and leave a slight border around the outsides of these. It's hard with the camera right <laughs> over top. definitely the more intense or labor intensive part of the whole um, process. And I'll admit it, I made it more labor intensive than maybe it, oh, that's totally crooked because there was a paper underneath. Um, I did make it more labor intensive than I did need to make it, but I just think that the, the extra little touch is going to be perfect for it. Just, that's good. I like it. I know that I'm going to be happy with it, and I hope that the ladies receiving it is, are going to be happy with it. Because I have put a lot of heart into getting these done. Probably doing like stuff like that probably wakes up truly when she then she thinks she needs to go potty. Okay. Alright, soups. Soup is done. Okay, so next let's do Probably, hang on one second. Okay, I was just thinking that I'm probably gonna need another ATG tape. And Lord help me get through that change. <laughs> it's always the fun part, struggling with that tape. Ugh, 
My elbow is going to hate me tomorrow. It's still bothering me. off the edges. Oh, I'll have to go to bed with an ice pack tonight and um, hope for the best tomorrow with that elbow. I think it's just some tendonitis. I should probably go have it looked at, but then again I'm stubborn. So there's that, right? Two more recipes to stick down like this and then put the backs on them and I'm, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me put the recipes in the plastic sleeves that I bought for them because that would just you guys don't need that <laughs> you don't need that at all you guys know how to put a recipe card in a plastic sleeve and I will try my best to remember to put the link for this down below but I know I'm not always that good at linking Desserts. And now got salad coming up. This one is a little bit, um, I didn't quite cut it down quite enough. I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So let's go ahead and get these all glued up. going to do a few of these and then um, change the HVG off camera since that was a crazy insane um, mess but let's see if I can do this without fumbling too badly if I start fumbling too badly I will shut her down change it off and then I'll come back. So, so far, so good. done it again. I 
I keep unraveling it. I think on the wrong side. I think it's supposed to go this way. Okay. Well, this is still kind of a a mess, but not as intense as last time, right? I think I spent like 10 minutes on that silly thing last time. This time I think we may have spent a minute. I may have spent a minute fumbling. So fingers crossed. It's all taken care of. Um, I feel like it should be a little. Time soon because my eyes are starting to sting a little bit. And I, no, I hear them. I hear them wanting to go out to go potty. So, let me just get this last. of glue down and I will be right back okay all right puppies have let's put this. puppies have gone potty so now we can finish this out I guess it helps if I don't put it directly on top of my papers that I'm trying to assemble on I think I'm getting more proficient at that ATG gun. I don't feel like I struggled with it as long this time. There's a little bit of a, a struggle. Uh -oh. But it wasn't the epic. 10 minute struggle. I think that the last one was. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. I am thirsty though. I never have anything on my desk without a lid on it because I'm very accident prone and I would be so mad if I spilled anything on a project and ruined it. It would just be horrible. 
so I always make sure I have a lid, a cap, something to protect my self. from being my own worst enemy. Because Lord knows I can do that quite easily. these all Oops. It was kind of on the edge, so it wasn't sticking down, I guess, the way that it should. the edge. Not getting very good traction with my fingers. So I've been thinking about cutting my hair. My hair's gotten so long. It's actually um, basically at my waist right now, which is the longest it's been in a very, very long time. It's not that I don't like it long. It's so much work. And for those who have had really long hair, know, you guys know that it's a lot of shampoo and conditioner and care and it's, you know, some people are like, oh, it's just a wash and go thing. No, when you have long hair, it's a process to get it ready and, you know, be going. Because there are a lot of times where you can't leave the house with wet hair. And I'm trying to think. Oops. Right now, it takes me about a half an hour to blow dry my hair, so it's kind of obnoxious. And then, you know, if you're going to do any styling to it, which I don't normally do, so every now and then I'll run a straightener through it. I mean, I have naturally straight hair, but, you know, sometimes it just gets a little wild. And you gotta maybe flatten a few things. So, it's kind of a catch. 22. I like having long hair just because I just like my long hair, but it is quite a bit too take care of and and manage so well 
I really wanted to go get my hair cut yesterday and today and the day before. But I've been kind of putting it off just to see if it's still something that I want to do or if it's just one of those fleeting things that I think I want to do. So I'll keep you posted on that. Okay. I have two extras, so that's weird because I thought I had cut perfectly, but who knows? I was doing a lot of cutting. Maybe I'm short on a recipe or two. Okay, so these are a main dish. And hmm, I think it'll be quickest to um, let's do it this way. Oops, that's I just think that's so cute. Make sure I'm putting them all right side up because this one it does matter if it's upside down or right side up. Closer to the edge on these. I want to be careful on this black because with the recollections, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but uh, the moisture in um, glues or just in general will pull some of the black out and it can act, and I've stained other colors of things I'm wondering would this be just as quick to do with my ATG gun I don't know So let's go ahead and do this. Just like we did with the other side, we'll go ahead and prep these. Concentrating so hard on not getting my fingers stuck to the pages, I was forgetting to talk. Okay. I just didn't have, I know 
it's a breakfast, but it's a main breakfast dish. I just didn't have a, a word, a breakfast. But that's okay. I actually don't know if this is going faster or slower. I feel like it's faster. I keep saying that. I feel like it's faster, but then again, I didn't. Time it. Okay. One set of recipes done. I'm trying to employ time saving techniques because I know the last video was just over an hour. This one I'm hoping to keep under an hour, but I think it might be right at that hour. some of these I can't get them to unstick from my fingers I know I was complaining that I couldn't get them I couldn't get the pages apart but in this one on a couple of these I can't get them to stop sticking to me Never happy, right? There we go. I don't know if this is actually saving time because now I'm handling each of these twice versus just the one time. But I don't have to worry about any glue seeping out or sticking them together or anything like that. So that's a nice feature. Because I know sometimes I get a little bit crazy with the glue. Okay. And those are done. Basically, two of my favorite things coconut and chocolate. Now, I know with this one you could actually add nuts if you were so inclined to. I'm actually allergic to 
almonds. And I think, yeah, this original recipe came uh, included almonds. So I have long since discontinued the use of almonds in anything that I make. I don't want to die. No, I won't die. I know that um, my reactions have worsened over the years. So at first it was just hives and Benadryl took care of it. And then it progressed to an itchy... throat and a slightly swollen tongue and Benadryl was still making keeping it um, under control and that's pretty much when I stopped eating almonds I just don't like to tempt fate like that anymore. I like to live on the wild side, but I don't want to die. So it's just almonds that I'm allergic to, not any other nuts. I, uh, I have a friend who's actually allergic to walnuts and I'm allergic to almonds and then I have um, another friend who is allergic to coconut and another friend and peanuts are a pretty common allergy but she's allergic to peanuts so we just try and avoid nuts whenever possible however when you're slightly crazy it's hard to avoid nuts I'm just kidding so baking is kind of tricky sometimes in my circle of friends I feel like we're in the home stretch now because I'm almost done. I don't think there's a single thing else that I need to create for this project as far as cuts or anything like that. I think everything is already done. It's just a matter of assembling it now, putting the Putting on the doily and then putting down the utensil holder and putting the pages on. So it's just more assembly. I feel like I'm on such a roll right now, but I'm getting so tired. So as soon as I get these last few put together. I am going to call it a night. It is almost 1 a.m. And I for sure am tired. Okay. Almost. Yay. more. I 
feel like one of those exercises. I was like four more, three more. And last one, last but not least. Okay. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.